It's all about being as efficient as possible. So if you're pushing out the same effort of exertion, you're going to go faster. And that's why today, racing on a bike is not all about how hard you can push yourself during a race, but instead, I'll be doing some aerodynamic testing on the bike to see what areas I can adjust so I can be as efficient as possible and possibly go faster on the bike. Today, I have a couple of positions I wanna test on the bike and see if I'll go faster or if I'll go slower. Also, I want to test a couple of things like putting a water bottle down my chest to see if it's faster, like a lot of people right now in the sports are doing. Testing out calf sleeves and the angle of the bar up front and how much stack height, how high, how low this should be. So I can't wait to test all of these out. I charged all my batteries, including my power pedals, the no shield test equipment, my shifting batteries, and got my bike race ready. This includes swapping out my training wheels for my race wheels and getting my cockpit ready because I took out the water bottle holder and my computer mount. So my bike will basically be race ready. So if I had a race today, this is the setup my bike will look like. To do these kind of tests, I have this Nocio aerodynamic test that I will be using. The goal is to bike one mile out on a straight and flat road and come back in my race position at my race effort. And with this equipment, it'll calculate the coefficient of drag, also known as CDA, and I'll be able to get that number. The goal to get around 0.200 for me. It doesn't have to be now. This is my first time aero testing, but I wanna see my baseline and see how efficient I am on this bike. And in the future, I'll come back, test again with different kinds of stuff, but I just want a baseline today and see what my CDA is. So right now I'm going to do a warm up, probably 15, 20 minutes and check out the course I'll be doing to go straight out and straight back. It is a little cloudy today and cold, so I have a long sleeve for my warm up. I'm going to have to take it off when I do testing, but at least I want to do a little warm up first, get the bike, get the tires all warmed up. And we're going to start our first test after that. So I'm pretty excited. Just about done warming up. It's a little colder than I thought. So I am not looking forward to taking this long sleeve off and not wearing these gloves, but I just I think I just gotta suck it up and do my first couple tests, probably do like three with just my position as is, just to confirm like my CDA and maybe put aero socks for a couple of them and then the bottle down the sleeve. So we'll see how many tests I can do, but it's pretty cold. It's 51 degrees Fahrenheit, it's cold. I don't think I will mess with the, the front end at all because this takes a lot of time. What I can do is just get my position right now, my CDA, put aero socks on, a bottle down my sleeve and maybe test out if I take this water bottle out here and put it back there so I have two bottles here so this will not be interfering with the wind see how that goes but we'll take it one test at a time I'm gonna head back to the car take this off and run my first test I used the no show app on my phone so I had to start it and stop it so it had like a couple seconds where I was coming to a complete stop or just starting back up to get into full speed so start, stop. The first test I did was 0.224. So actually faster than the predicted best bike split of 0.24, point, point what? So actually faster than the best bike split of the calculated 0.2438, which was right around that ballpark. So I wanted to do that same thing again. Don't change anything. Second test, invalid. I was pretty bummed at this point, so I decided to, you know, just move on put on my arrow calf sleeve and go for my test number three. Now the test number three, 0.246. Slower, so I was slower than my first test. And the fourth test was taking my bottle out of the frame and putting it down my sleeve, 0.222. So it was faster, the fastest of the day. And finally the fifth test, the final test I wanted to do for the day because I was just freezing cold out there. I kept everything the same, calf socks, arrow sleeve on my calf and bottle down my chest. Turned out it was 0.226. So just a test lower, but it is under 0.230. So I did a total of four tests. It turned out my fastest CDA is 0.222. So it's 0.022 from that 0.200 I wanna be at. I got some good results. I did four tests. It was pretty cold. I just called it. And uh, I think there's just some inefficiencies and I probably need someone's help to start and stop the arrow test on the app because I started, I put in my 
back pocket and then I start biking. So when I start the arrow test on the app, I have to put my phone in my back pocket, go, finish, come to a stop, grab my phone out the pocket, turn it on and then press stop. So I don't know if, if that counts as you're accelerating and decelerating and the 180 degree U-turn at the halfway part. But I guess what I should really focus on is at the end of the day, just being comfortable on the bike and just getting my legs strong enough to push more power. I'm still new to the sport that I think it's kind of irrelevant right now. So if I just work on my leg strength, that could benefit me more than getting my position dialed in. I know people who's been in the sport for years and they're starting to aero test right now while I'm starting in my third year. It's definitely good to know, but I think my focus should be somewhere else. I got home frustrated because I didn't want to do the test I wanted to do and I switched completely everything in the cockpit. I took out the aero extension bar out front and put my old one back because I wanted to be more comfortable in the front end of the bike. So I was able to get a little more reach and my old pads back. So then I took a couple videos and I lowered my arm pad 50 millimeters down. And based on my fit from the past, it looks like I'm more aerodynamic. So I do want to test this specific position again outside when it's warmer and I'm not cold and I can have like some kind of support from like friends. So this is two days after I did the aerodynamic test. We're going to test out a new position on the front end. I have my 51 speed shop bars extensions out in front and the vision arm pad instead of the more aerodynamic one because I can get a little more reach that way so I'm not too crunched up. I can go a little farther like that. We're going to test this out. Today we have a very hard bike workout. It consists of six minutes all the way to 13 minutes I think. So six minutes, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Six minutes at 100% FTP, which is 320 watts for me. And the goal is to simulate the race. So for me, I'll be probably coming out in that front group and, and right after that front group comes out of the water for the swim portion of the triathlon, they get onto the bike and they're just gonna like go fast the first couple of miles and then settle into it. So my goal is to hang on with them, put in the effort to stay in the group and then draft in the group. When you draft or when you're behind someone on the bike or behind like five people, you push less power on the watt so you can save energy. So we're gonna decrease the FTP as the intervals go up. If I successfully complete my workout, this will probably be my race position because I am lower and my back is flatter because I'm able to bring this down a little bit. I'm excited to see how this will perform. I just came back from a 40 minute run right after the bike. Average 657 minute per mile pace with a 1K at 10K pace, 2K at half marathon goal pace, and 3K at marathon goal pace with a total of 6K of the workout. With the bike, I felt pretty good on all of those. I was in aerodynamic position on the TT bars and it seems like I'm able to hold this position, so this will be my position for 70.3 Indian Wells. I'm very excited because I think I am more aero. I just threw everything out the window from two days ago's aero testing and just did this position. So I'm pretty sure it's faster because my back looked flatter on this position than the previous position and I'm able to get that reach more in the front. This will probably be my final position. There are three weeks left until I compete in the Ironman 70.3 Indian Wells and just gotta hone in my technique, maintain my bike levels and just get ready to race.